Hey lovers, it's PDH with Love on Tour, and this is our review of the Norwegian Joy. Let's get it! process this time? Um, it was okay. It was actually better than the Bliss time. But the, this was the only time we actually had to sit and wait. Every other time we've actually checked in, got here early, and literally walked right on the ship. Last two with Royal uh, Caribbean and Princess. Mm -hmm. So the Norwegian Joy is a breakaway plus class ship built as the ultimate joyride. It is a fairly new ship that was built in 2017. It initially started cruising in China and was eventually moved to the U.S. market in 2019. Spice H2O is the adult-only daytime getaway. At nighttime, it turns into one of the spots where you can definitely find the party. That's where they go to dance and they have a DJ there. It's a very cool little spot. The observation deck is by far one of my favorite places to hang. Looking out over the front of the ship is a relaxing and beautiful experience. The Bliss, the Joy, and the Encore all have this space and are built to take in the vast and majestic views of Alaska. We actually have a group trip planned next year to Alaska, but on the new Discovery Princess. So I'd love to eventually do a cruise on one of those ships, probably the Encore, because we haven't cruised that yet to Alaska and get that experience. One note is you have to be very strategic in terms of uh, trying to get there early enough to get these seats in the front because people get them and let me tell you, they camp out like they're in Yellowstone. They never ever leave. So if you want one of these prime locations, you gotta come early and get your spot. actually renovated the ship, removing some of the elements that were created just for the Chinese. They had like these private karaoke rooms and things like that. Now we have cruised on the Bliss, which is its sister ship, which is a very cool ship. We love the Bliss, one of my favorite ships. Uh, but one of the things missing from the Bliss is the thermal suite. They don't have that on the Joy. The Bliss has a beautiful, large, gorgeous spa. But on the Joy, they do have the Galaxy Pavilion, which is a virtual reality arcade with several simulator rides, such as hang gliding, race cars, Star Wars, pod racing, etc. She said that she hate me. I hate me too. I can always tell when you're lying. Girl, you're see through. All these miles away, yeah. I just wanna see. Now listen, if I love this on tour, I don't play. I don't care if there's people out here in the shorts and tank tops. If I'm cold, I'm cold. And today I was cold, so I got that warm gear on. Pow! I just don't want to mistreat you, no. Cause I've been a douchebag before, baby girl. I don't want to repeat. She just won't please me. She look in my eyes, told me, why are you bleeding? And I don't even know how to answer. I take these drugs to my bladder. She noticed a pattern, she say I look gorgeous, I tell her I'm flatter, but... Hey lovers, this is PDH with Love on Tour, and we're now on the Norwegian Joy, and I am at my favorite part of the ship, which is the waterfront. I love this part of the ship because you can always find a, a nice relaxing spot to just chill, watch the waves, look at the ocean. So let's take a look. 
and see what the waterfront looks like. Now the waterfront is another one of my favorite places on the ship. There are great places to relax and lean over the railings and look at the ocean. And the waterfront is never too busy. You would think with three to 4,000 people on the ship that it would be crowded, but it's never too busy. And I also like that typically when you're out at sea, one side will be shaded. So if you need some shade, you can go over there and the other side will be in the sun. And so if you need some warmth, you can go to that side. Hey lovers, so this is our first day at sea on the Norwegian Joy. We've had a great time so far. The ship is a little smaller than what we assume. One of the things that we noticed is that the observation deck is a little bit smaller than on the Bliss. Also, the theater where the Footloose show that we'll be seeing tonight is a little bit smaller than the theater on the Bliss. So the theater on the Bliss, it was a Broadway style theater. This is more of a a small, almost black box style, style theater. Now the seating is uh, capacity may be the same, but the actual stage is a little bit smaller. So one of the things that we notice is that there are limited opportunities for lunch. There's the local, there is also uh, Savor, which is one of their main dining rooms, as well as the buffet. But once some of the other specialty restaurants are definitely not open for lunch. So one of the things you can consider is that if you didn't want to wake up and have breakfast, breakfast did stop at 11 a.m. this morning. And I don't know about you, but one of the things I love to do on a cruise is sleep in until I just can't sleep anymore. So we got up and we we're a little late for breakfast, but we are looking forward to lunch. The main dining rooms on the Joy are Savor, Taste, and the Manhattan Room, the latter being set up more for larger groups. I've also included here some actual menus from some of the restaurants so you can get a, get a feel for what they offer on these cruises. Now, I absolutely love the specialty restaurants on the Norwegian uh, cruise lines. Uh, they have everything from barbecue to Japanese and just about everything in between. Uh, I was really disappointed when they didn't have my favorite Mexican spot, Los Lobos, uh, on the Joy, but I did hear they're bringing it back for the Prima. If you haven't seen it yet, take a look at the Bliss review and you'll see why I love that Los Lobos restaurant so much. The table side walk is the bomb. I know I'm aging myself when I say the bomb, but I don't care. The bomb. Now, fellas and ladies, if you absolutely love to watch your sports when you're out at sea, the local is the place. This is kind of like their little sports bar, and it has some great grab-and-go type things, hamburgers, hot dogs, and some cool things that you can come and eat. Now, I didn't really ever go to the local for breakfast, but typically this is where we had lunch a lot of the time and when the game was on.
Cagney's is their steakhouse. This is where you go to get that prime cut of meat. Uh, and it is one of their highest rated restaurants actually on the Norwegian ships. It is a delicious and delectable experience. I, I do love Cagney's even though I'm not a big steak guy. The buffet here was really par for the course. Nothing really stood out. Uh, the food was what you find at these cruise ship buffets, uh, but it is large and it does have a lot of seating areas and a lot of spaces where you can uh, just kind of grab and go. I do wonder what it'll be like uh, once we start cruising again with the pandemic. Now on the Bliss, I love it because it does have a place at the front of the ship where you can kind of look out uh, over uh, the observation uh, deck and observation lounge and look out of the windows and see the ocean in the buffet space so I do like that thing. Casino was large and spread out. I love the virtual band space here, which may be a turn for the future in terms of live pre-recorded performances. It definitely did give you kind of that um, little trio band feel, but on the big screen. ever we booked a guaranteed balcony category this was a last minute trip for us and one of the only cruises from los angeles we paid just over two thousand dollars for the both of us and got a pretty decent room i think uh, we didn't have an unobstructed view but it wasn't that bad uh, you just kind of saw where the restaurant awning kind of blocked your view a little bit but you know for two grand on a seven night cruise uh, we didn't have to fly anywhere to me that was a win so we did enjoy uh, that experience although I do prefer to book my own room I definitely want to control where I am on the ship we particularly like the aft of the ship where we can kind of see that long trail of water that's our favorite spot on the ship
We got on the ship pretty early here, so I was able to take some preview shots of some of the Haven suites. Uh, I have not done a Haven yet. I want to do a Haven so bad. It is just so difficult to justify. It is literally two cruises uh, for the price of one. So take a peek here, some of the Haven rooms that we can wish for and dream for. Now, I did book a Haven on the new Norwegian Prima. It was a five night cruise and we're actually doing a group cruise out of New York to Bermuda and I booked a Haven suite there. Because it was only five nights, it was a little less expensive and probably more bang for your buck, but uh, I'm excited to do that in 2023. That Haven on the Prima, I can't wait. And one of the things I love about cruising the most is that there is always something to do and something to see. Even if you think some of the singers and the dancing is corny, it is still cool to go somewhere, hear live music, and just people watch. They have dance classes where you can learn to do the Michael Jackson dance, and they have game shows and bingo and the casino and uh, little bars where you have like little piano bars where people will come in singer songwriter style and do that. Now they also have the these beautiful theaters on the cruise ships and I love Footloose as a movie and I enjoyed the show here. The Elements show also was kind of this cool little weird show but it was cool as well. Again it's free entertainment and we love the entertainment on cruise ships in general. If I say it for this episode of love on tour remember love will travel and it's love above all also remember we are a full-fledged travel agency and we can help book your next cruise or your next vacation we specialize in this stuff and if you want to cruise with us hey we've got several group cruises coming just check us out at loveontour.com slash groups and you can see our new group cruises coming until then we'll check you next time peace